We got some big car news to cover today. If I look a little rough, sorry. This is like breaking news to me. Um, we got a couple iconic JDM legends returning, and um, I'm not too happy about it. How is it going, guys? Drew Peacock here, back with another video. And if I look a little rough, I'm sorry. I woke up. My girl made me some breakfast. I decided, you know what, let's just go get this video out there as soon as possible. I didn't shower or change or anything. The people need to know this. The Mazda RX-7 or RX-9 or whatever the hell they're going to call it is returning. And I absolutely hate it. I'm, I'm If you've seen it, maybe you hate it too. If you haven't seen it, you will when you see it. I'll show you right now. Let's take a look at it. So... This is um, just some stuff I found on Instagram. I tried looking it up right now on Google and maybe I typed it in wrong. But I typed in RX-9 and I didn't see anything. I'll, let me type in new RX-7 because I want all of the details on it. Okay, this is from two days ago. So yeah, this will, this will be much better. Okay. Anyways, here it is. Look at this balloon animal fucking car. I hate it. I think that they have some good foundation here. But to me, it looks so incomplete. It just looks like it looks like a GTA 5 car, and that's not a good thing. It, it the rear end is so bad, it's so bad. Okay, I like the B pillar, the B pillar is very RX7. I love that. I could see the little design elements of the RX7, like the rest of the car. Man, it's like a Lotus Elise had sex with an Alpha or like an Aston or something like that. I think Aston makes more sense, but the Aston Martin. It, it, the interior is fine interior thumbs up i'll give you a thumbs up for an interior i like i like a good interior i like something i can i can be comfortable driving around in steering wheel mazda logo you know if these are the the drive and select gear buttons um love it a little screen not too in your face not like the giant bmw screens that stick up this is this is sleek this is nice of course this isn't how it's going to look when it releases but i i, I see in here I like it. It's very minimal. You don't need a whole lot of shit going on. As long as it does what it needs to do, it's good. One thing is there's no uh, AC control, so I have a feeling it's all going to be in this rinky-dinky screen, which is kind of annoying. But the interior isn't what people are going to, you know, make or break the car and buy it over. It's the X tier. And this X tier, like I said, it's so just incomplete looking, in my opinion. There's just a there's lack of everything. It looks so basic that it, it just to me it, it looks incomplete it looks absolutely incomplete there's no way in hell it's going to look like this when it releases you can quote me on that 10 26 2023 20, it's going to look vastly different i also can't tell if it's butterfly doors no i don't think it is maybe they go up a little bit but it, it kind of looks like they go up just a bit which is really weird okay let me not bash the whole thing into the ground there are some things i like it, it kind of has like pop-up headlights like those little eyelid flaps open up um, they surprisingly don't show it in this photo, but I think in the Instagram post they might show it. Yeah, you see, they're 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 opened up right there. The wheels look decent in my opinion. I like the wheels. It looks a lot better in this photo. It looks like a thicker car, but it still just looks like it looks like the start rendition of a car. Like it doesn't look like a done car. Like if I saw a thing driving on the road, I'd be like, it's missing some shit. It just doesn't look complete to me. I do like the interior, though. I'm not going to lie. I really do like the interior. If this is how the interior is actually going to look, we got blue carbon fiber bucket seats, blue suede all over. Like, I, I like this interior. Yeah, the doors do go up a little bit. The doors definitely do go up a little bit, which is which is interesting. It's not, it's not a full-on butterfly door. It's like a little meh. Like a little meh. Don't know what the purpose of that is, but sure. So yeah, I I, 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 I do not like the rear at all. I do not like the rear I feel like it's missing a lot of stuff. Like, there's not a single vent on this car. Now, depending on what the powertrain is, I'll read this really quickly and maybe they'll say something. But depending on what the powertrain is, you might not need vents or anything ducts. But it would still be nice to have that on a sports car. We'll look at the OG one really quick and I'll just show you what I mean by just it at least having more to it than the, as basic as that one is all right so here's a pretty good photo okay so we have three small grills up front one large middle one and two smaller side little ducts in motorsports you can use those for brake ducts or you can throw like an oil cooler or a trans cooler whatever you got whatever you want to throw right there you could throw right there they're functional 
You also have a duct right behind the front wheel, which is very nice. You have some nice body lines that just follow the flow of the car. You have a wing. Like if the new one had a similar duct behind the front wheel, I think a lot more people, me included, would be on board. I can get behind the like Miata style rear end, but make the car look complete in some way. Like the rear end looks like a Miata had sex with a Lotus. I'm not, I don't, I don't know about all that. But like a little duct right there, ooh, that just swoops. Ooh, that that would look so much nicer. Maybe maybe even a little duct tail or like, you know, just a, just a little lip on the rear at all. I saw this comment on uh, the Instagram post of it, and it says, why are concepts so afraid of hard edges? And it's true. There's like one hard edge on this whole car, and it's the trunk, which obviously in this concept, it doesn't open unless the glass just opens which would be kind of inconvenient, but whatever. It's a concept car. It's not going to look like this. I'm not too worried. I'm happy they're bringing it back, um, but just hopefully they make some minor adjustments because if we all remember not too long ago how the Mark V Supra concept looked versus what we got. I'll jog your memory. Just yeah, here we go. Here's a great side-by-side -side of the concept versus reality. I would have been way on board with this. I still like the Mark V, but it's a far cry from uh, this futuristic Mark V Super. That that looks hard. That looks hard. This Z4 with a body kit, still cool. And I, I still like them, but Jesus, what could have been? Oh my God, that thing is beautiful. So yeah, as for the RX-7, um, I'll quickly read the article and see if it mentions anything about a powertrain. I don't know if it does. But it needs something. I mean, like, this concept looks complete. Like, that looks like a real futuristic car. It's not super basic and just, like, a fucking balloon animal. And even the finished version. Like, there's vents and there's ducks and there's... I mean, they're fake, but they're there. I'd rather them be there than not be there. Even... Especially since they're so small anyways. Who cares? But yeah, this just looks like... Like I said... A, GTA 5 maybe even like a GTA San Andreas like exotic car like it's just so undefined and low rendered like it just there's there's nothing going on with it in my opinion it looks like those like 90s concept cars of what they like thought the future cars would look like it just it looks dated in my opinion already eh all right so if this article is correct, it utilizes a two-rotor rotary EV system, which combines both an electric drive and highly scalable rotary engine, capable of burning new aged fuel alternatives such as hydrogen. This then combines carbon neutral drive while maintaining an evocative yet smooth ice characteristic found in rotary engine cars like the RX-7. The concept also had projected numbers tied to it, approximately 365 horsepower in the body that just weighs under 3,200 pounds. If those are the actual horsepower numbers, you, you got my attention. That, that's, that's a solid set of horsepower, especially for a rotary. Like, that's, ooh, that's pretty crazy. I know it's like a hybrid, but I'm not super against hybrids. I, I mean, it's better than all electric, especially if it's a hybrid with a rotary. Like, ooh, you got that low end torque of like a hybrid, and then you have like that just revability of, of, of a rotary. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. All right. So that's more interesting. That That's more exciting than the exterior of the car, in my opinion. This fucking, God, I keep calling it a balloon animal because that's just what it looks like. It looks like a goddamn balloon. Anyways, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the exterior, whatever. Let's move on to another JDM icon, the Prelude, which is coming back. The Honda Prelude Coupe returns with EV power. Now, looking at these photos here, you might be saying, Drew, that's a good-looking car. And I'd actually have to agree with you on that one. This, in my opinion, is a car that looks very ready for the road. Like, if I saw this, oh, that, that's how you do a fucking rear end, Mazda. Take notes from Honda. Does it have a fake tow hook already from factory? What is this down here? I don't know what that is. That makes me a little nervous. That, that looks so much like the little blue eBay tow hooks. I mean, it would, just if you're looking at it head on like that, I, I'm sure it's some sort of light or something, but it looks, it looks like it. It looks like it. That's a good looking car. I actually like this. This is a very nice looking car in my opinion honda really like woke up in the in the recent years after the fk8 and making it like the ricest car of all time um they really like just made good looking cars after that 
Like, this front end is fine. It's giving me sort of Mark V Super vibes with this weird, like, nose piece. But, like, the silhouette and, like, everything about the car, the wheels, the silhouette. I really do like the silhouette. Silhouette looks real nice. It almost has, like, Audi TT vibes. Just, if you squint, you can kind of see it. It's a good looking car. I really like it. I actually really like it. I don't know what the stats are of the car. I don't know what the specs are. But looks wise, I think Honda beats over Mazda in this aspect. This looks more like a complete car. I don't think this is going to change much. If they do, then they're really dropping the ball because this looks good. This looks really good. The Mazda is going to change. I don't think this is going to change. If I could see this in Honda's dealerships tomorrow and be like, yeah, that looks normal. Okay, this concept model has a hybrid powertrain. Honda did not provide any details, but I'm 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 not even mad. I'm not even mad. As long as it's not a full EV, I'm cool with it. I'm a hundred percent cool with it. Three cylinder EV, two cylinder, uh not two cylinder, four cylinder EV. That's cool. Like imagine just your Honda with the, the pickup of an electric vehicle and then the VTEC kicking in still, like at high RPMs, like it's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. So there's a lot less details about this one. We could really go based off of how it looks. And I think it looks 10 times better than the RX-7. If I had to choose out of the two cars, I'd probably still choose the RX-7 um, just because of the hybrid rotary aspect of it. I would only be choosing it for that. I genuinely think that this is a better looking car and it's probably a good competitor to like the 8.6 or the BRZ. Because it's got that kind of, at least from the photos, looks like that size and shape. And if it's an EV hybrid with a four-cylinder, I think this thing would fucking dog on the 8.6. As long as they don't got the oil pickup issues, which, let's keep it a buck, they won't because they're Honda. But yeah, as long as they don't have any issues, I, I think it's a solid, solid little sports car. As long as they actually gear it to be a sports car. If they make this some bullshit fucking ugh, 200 horsepower sluggish slush box piece of shit, then yeah, it's not going to be a good, a good car. But we'll have to see when, um, when the time comes. I'm really excited for the Prelude. I'm excited for the RX-7 and the Rotary coming back. I'm not excited about the styling of the RX-7, but I mean, like I said, it's a good foundation. They just got to add a few things here and there, and I think it'll be good. It's obviously a concept. It's a long ways away from becoming a reality, but, you know, it's it's solid enough. It just looks like a goddamn balloon animal, or a Mazda had sex with a Lotus, had sex with an Aston Martin. It was a weird gangbang, honestly. I don't know whose kid it is, but it's, it's someone's kid. It's definitely someone's kid. Anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I'm excited. Hopefully, you guys are too. Out of the two, which one are you guys choosing? Comment down below. Have a good day, and until next video, peace.